Hello and welcome to another episode of Wild Kingdom Devotions. We've been talking the last couple sessions I've recorded about uh, Proverbs, the 30th chapter. And today we're going to continue with that, this 30th chapter, the 27th verse. King James Version uh, says, The locusts have no king, yet go they forth, all of them, by bands. Now, that's a fabulous proverb of only 14 words. It's simple, but and intriguing, but it's got this obscure lesson to it that I'd like to share with you today in the next few minutes. Locust teaches that there's a that the groups are better than the individual. There's powers in, in numbers and there's power in unity. I've been talking about these four little creatures that teach us powerful lessons of wisdom. We've already talked about the ant, the coney, and today we're talking about the locust, a real unique little guy. The desert locust generally lives a, a, a life of lonely, individual, solitary existence. They're extremely shy, except for brief mating encounters, and they fly at, even fly at night to avoid others. They, they're content being alone, even sluggish in nature. But when put in a crowded situation with other locusts, there's a transformation that takes place. There's a radical personality changes that take place. And you can even tell it by the physiology changes, the color of a uh, locust changes when they have this new temperament. And now when they swarm together, they can coordinate sometimes between billions of locusts rather than the individual. Scientifically, the locust as an individual in this temperament when it undergo, undergoes this change, has this true personality change. They're only three inches long and weigh two grams. A single locust can, can eat its weight in over a day. It drops, it could, excuse me, it flies about 20 miles per hour and it can cover 25 mile radius in one day. In 1889, there was a record of a swarm of locusts that covered 2,000 square miles across the Red Sea, estimated that it weighed 500,000 tons and it was 250 billion individual locusts in that one swarm. They could fly through and devastate and eat everything in their path. Serious threat to North Africa and has occurred in many, many different times when locust comes. So why is the wisdom of God's word telling us that we should be like those locusts? Ecclesiastics 4, 9 through 12 says, two are better than one, and a three-fold cord is not quickly broken. There's power in unity. In the society, in even Christian walk, when we think about being alone and alone, and in this time where we're unable to even meet most with in a lot of environments, in a corporate worship, and we stay home a lot, there's a danger in wanting to stay alone. There's strength in number. God calls us an army. As an army, we should go forth and conquer collectively and with unity rather than alone. Loners can be losers. They truly can. And a saying that I've heard quite often is that it's the first banana out of the bunch that gets eaten. So do not forsake the assembling of the saints together. Do not forsake the getting together either virtually or getting together when we can in a corporate bat way. Let's go ahead and, and work at being unified, not what divides us, not the theology that divides us or the denominations. We should not draw lines between Baptist and Pentecostal and Methodist and Episcopalian and Catholic. We should draw lines to say, what draws us together 
is it still the Great Commission that we should reach out to the lost and reach out to the people who are, who are suffering and need God the most in this trying times? Oh, we should be like the, like the locusts swarming to the message of, of hope for people who are hurting. Maybe we should learn a lot from this little guy called the locust. Hey, thanks for joining me for for this devotion, this wild kingdom devotion. Keep coming back. And if you've enjoyed this, share it with others and uh, look for me on Facebook or on on YouTube channel and share it with others and keep coming back for some more uh, devotions of the wild kingdom. We'll see you later.